Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of advanced ABAP concept. And our new topic is conversion routines. I will not place this topic into a BAP dictionary playlist because this topic requires the knowledge of a BAP programming and function module. And many participants, those who are starting, they might not have the knowledge of a BAP programming and function module during the ABAP dictionary playlist. So I will put this topic into advanced ABAP concept and very conceptual topic. And yes, because of the lack of the knowledge of this topic is yes, many times we will not get the expected result. And at that time we think, yes, why, why the expected output is not coming. Now, what is conversion routine? Word itself is saying it is a routine which is used to convert the values from the external display format to internal storage format and vice versa also. With the help of conversion routine, we can convert the values from external display format to internal storage format and vice versa. I will go for two terms first. What is external and what is internal? External means what is visible to us. Internal means what SAP is storing. Suppose simple example. I have a sales order one. I have a sales order one. What is visible to all of us? One is visible to us. So that is called as external display format. It is visible to us. It is displayed to us, but what SAP is storing internally, SAP is going for nine zeros before that, and then we have one. So have you seen what is visible to us is different from what SAP is storing. So what is visible to us? That is called as external display format and what SAP is storing that is called as internal storage format. So with the help of conversion routine, we can convert from external to internal format. And yes, now first part done. Now vice versa should also be there because if something is stored like this into the SAP table and we are fetching that data and displaying at that time, it will not display like this. It will display one only. So with the help of conversion routine, we can convert from the internal storage format to external display format also. Because if something is stored into the SAP table like this, so whenever we will fetch at that time, display format should be one only. So vice versa should also, also be there. So what is conversion routine? With the help of conversion routine, we can convert the values from the external format to internal format. External format means what is visible to us. Internal format means what SAP is storing. And similarly, vice versa also. We can convert from internal format to external format. Internal means what is stored into SAP table and what is visible to us. Now, what I will do, firstly, we will understand the concept 
and then we will take the examples and then we will realize yes why why we are not getting the expected outputs so firstly i will go to suppose vbak table i will go to vbak table suppose this is our vbak table if i will display if i will go to the contents of the table Suppose I put order number one. See, I'm putting order number one. It is visible to us. This is external display format. Whenever we will execute, have you seen what SAP is storing? Nine zeros and one. So yes, that is your external display format. And that is your internal storage format. And yes, when we created the sales order, yes, what is visible to us? One, but internally SAP is storing nine zeros one. Suppose we are fetching data from VBAK table. At that time, yes, we have nine zeros one. We are fetching based upon this but what will be visible to us at that time, one, vice versa. So at that time, yes, we will convert from internal storage format to external display format. Now, now the question comes, yes, where, where is the conversion routine and why, why this is happening? Now I will go to this particular column, VBELN. It has this data element. If I will double click on the data element, data element has a domain. And in that domain, we have the conversion routine. At the starting of the topic, I told I can place this topic in a back dictionary also because ultimately it is in domain. But yes, Many people will not understand if I will put in a BAP dictionary playlist because they might not have the knowledge of a BAP programming and function module. That's why I will keep this in advanced a BAP topics playlist. Now, now we have a conversion routine and because of this, it is happening. Suppose if I will double click on the conversion routine, Ultimately, conversion routine are function modules only. And in the function module, we have the logic. That logic is converting. Suppose we took the example. That logic is converting 1 to 9 zeros 1. Then 9 zeros 1 to 1. That logic is ultimately doing each and everything. Suppose. If you see, we have the first function module, external to internal. Then we have another function module, internal to external. And you will always, always see this kind of approach. One function module from external to internal. One will be from internal to external. And both should be there because if something is stored, then display should also, also be there. Suppose I will go for the first function module. If I will double click. And you can see because of this only it is happening. Suppose I'm running this function module. Suppose we are going for input one. So what SAP will store all zeros one. If I will execute. You can see we have all zeros and we have one at the last. Ultimately, our length is 10. So SAP will put nine zeros and one. And it is happening because of this conversion routine only. Now vice versa. So all zeros, one stored into SAP table. Now suppose we want to go for vice versa. We want to display now. Now for that, we have output function module, which will convert from internal to external. Now what will be the in the SAP? 
nine zeros one this is what sap is storing if i will go to execute what is visible to us one so we will able to see one one so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with a very conceptual topic yes and because of this many people will not get the expected output so we must have the knowledge of conversion routine conversion routines ultimately they are function module only we are passing in the domain domain of the and domain ultimately it's a part of we are passing in the data element so conversion routine is a part of domain itself which is used to convert external format to internal format internal format to external format external we will use the word display because we are able to see external format so the word is external display format and internal storage format and vice versa they will also convert from internal storage format to external display format also in the next video what we will do i will take two example one of report and one of module pool firstly i will show you why we got the output then i will go for another change and then we will see why we will not get the output and yes so many people yes are not getting the output because of that only so all doubts will be cleared in the upcoming videos so that's it in this video thank you